Hello everyone, this is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and today we are going to learn how to make links in our Fading Images slideshow to the rest of our pages in our website. I know a lot of people are probably really anxious to get to this part, so let's get started immediately. So we have our Fading Images slideshow and let's see where we left off as we do in every tutorial and we have buttons that change and we can go to any picture that we want and we can also pause the picture in the middle of the fade. So. It, now we're going to learn how to link one of these pages to another, how to link one of these images to one of the pages in our site. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer and we're going to rename that layer by double clicking whatever name you had pop up and let's call it more underscore info and click enter. So now what we're going to do is we're going to insert a whole bunch of keyframes. So just follow along with me and I'll explain afterwards. So insert a keyframe at 20 at 30, at 50, at 60, insert a keyframe at 80, um, and one more at 90. So now we're going to go back to the beginning and we're going to click frame 1 and we're going to click our text tool right here. So click that text tool and let's make sure our we have classic text selected right here make it dynamic text, let's have an Arial font, let's make it bold and italic, and let's make it size 10. So once you have all these things, click around in your bottom corner around here, and let's type in, click here for more information. So after you have that, let's resize this box by clicking our marquee tool, and let's resize this box so that everything comes up on one line and let's move it around so that we're kind of towards the end so it almost looks like it's right aligned at the bottom of the page and let go. So let's preview this really quickly and see how it looks. So we have our information about our description and everything and when it goes to the next image it goes away. So we want that click here for more information to pop up on each image but we don't want it to pop up during the fade. So let's click here and let's copy this and let's go to frame 30 and go edit paste in place click frame 60 edit paste in place and then go to frame 80 I mean I'm sorry go to frame 90 and edit paste in place so now when we preview this file publish preview flash you will see it says click here for more information, it goes away during the fade, and then it comes up for the next image. So now we're going to make the links for each one of those texts. What, what will happen when they click there? So in frame one, all you have to do, it's extremely easy, click the outside outline of the box and go down here in your options panel where it says link and let's type in http colon backslash backslash Oh, I don't know why mine just deleted, but I'm going to type it again, HTTP, colon, backslash, backslash, www.gmustudent.com, and click Enter. Now we have just made this a link. So let's go File, Publish Preview, Flash, and when it's showing, click it, and all of a sudden, we will go to my website. This is my website. So let's say if we wanted another one of our images to go to another section in our website. Well, as you can see, this is www.gmustudent.com slash Dreamweaver Main 1. So we just type that into Flash. So in the second one, so in 30, click that box and type it in. So go HTTP colon backslash backslash www.gmustudent.com dot com slash dreamweaver underscore main underscore one and click enter so if you preview this file publish preview flash and we skip to the second image and then click it we will go to our Dreamweaver page. So obviously you are going to need to publish your site in order to manipulate this, but we can do this with anything like Google.com, anything like that. So all you would do is, all you do is you just click right here, you put in the URL that you want, and then you are all good to go. So that is how you enter links into your images. So in the next tutorial, we're going to get into this even a little bit more. There is so much to do with these fading images slideshow, but I'm so happy that everybody is sticking around, and thank you for watching.